I'd like to offer you a review real quick on Newton's gravitation because it's been a while. So let's say that we take two small uh, people. Let's say they're babies. So we've got baby one and baby two is right here. And uh, so baby one and baby two are separated by two meters and baby one has a mass of 10 kilograms and baby two has a mass of five kilograms and we want to know the gravitational attraction between them so we need to remember that the force of gravity is equal to big G m1 m2 divided by the radius between them squared now keep in mind that technically it's from their centers of masses that we're measuring so it's really from belly button to belly button I guess we could say is two meters but uh, for a lot of objects uh, or for for general on people we just say the distance from you to me but uh, it is technically the distance between them um, so let's figure this out basically these are just fairly simple problems you just plug them in remember big G is uh, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th mass 1 is 10 mass 2 is 5 and they're separated by 2 meters squared okay so we plug all this in the calculator alright it is kind of tricky to plug in the calculator so 6.67 second e negative 11 times 10 times 5 divided by 2 squared and we should get that there is a force of gravitational attraction between these two babies of 8.3 times 10 to the negative 10th newtons. Okay, it's a very, very, very small force. Okay, so uh, that is how we do that problem. Okay, um, let's look at another type. What if we're doing the what if scenario? So, what if I have what if I had an object that was that was let's say sitting on the earth okay so I am standing on the earth okay I'm a little bit out of proportion I'm aware um, but let's say that the force of attraction between me and the earth the force of gravity right now is uh, 40 newtons alright it's currently 40 newtons what would happen if I shrunk the earth to half its size and then doubled my mass. So I'm going to shrink the earth to one half its original radius alright so I'm shrinking earth to one half its original radius and I am going to let's say I double my mass so I'm going to double my mass. The question is what happens to the force of gravity. Well, we play this one. We play this game, right? So it's one times one times one divided by one squared. So if everything was normal, it would come out to be one. This would be my ratio, be one. So I'm going to form a ratio with the next one. One times I doubled my mass. The Earth's mass stayed the same. We shrunk the distance. So this is one half squared. So in the new situation, we should get uh, let's see two divided by one-fourth okay two divided by one-fourth or eight times greater so if I wanted to know what is the new force of gravity the original force of gravity was 40 newtons so the new force of gravity after changes the new force of gravity would be 40 here times 8 so 8 times 40 is equal to 320 newtons. So after I changed my mass, doubled it, shrunk the earth to one half its original radius, I would get um, I would get 320 newtons as my weight. All right. So, um, let's see. It is important just one last thing. It is important to keep in mind that if we have two objects like this and this it's not this distance that we're measuring, okay? It's the distance between here 
and here. They're centers of mass. This is the distance that we call r. Okay, it's the reason it's called the radius, because it's the distance between their centers of mass. It's not this distance here that separates them from each other, all right? Um, so when we talk about the Earth, if you're on the Earth, here's the Earth, and here's you, the reason we don't say that your radius is equal to zero when you're standing on the Earth is because we're talking about the center of mass. So we have to go to the center of the Earth, so it ends up being like, 6.4 times 10 to the 6 meters because we've got to go to the centers of the earth. All right, so that's the reason it works like that. All right, so keep that in mind. That should be very important. Okay, let's say that we are uh, done with Newton's gravity.